Okay, so what I'm showing you today is how to do a restoration on old photo. So if you go on the class blog, you're going to find this picture on there. And if you click on it, just a regular left click to bring it up, uh, you'll see we get a higher quality version than what was just on there. And then if you control click on it, or right click on it, you see it switches to the next picture, but I can go to save image as. So right click on it, it'll look like it switches, but you can actually still click save image as. I'm going to save it as uh, restore this old photo on my desktop. See it's downloaded. Now I'm going to go into Photoshop, File, Open, and let's look on my desktop. And let's go to Restore this old photo and open it. Okay, and it's opened up. And the first thing I'm going to do, as I always do, is I'm going to go into my layers here and I'm going to duplicate the background. So control click or right click on the background text here, duplicate layer, hit OK. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File, Save As. You can see it's a JPEG right now. I want to save it as a Photoshop format document. Okay, so restore this old photo, save as Photoshop, save. Okay, so now if I close out of it, need to come back to it, it will still be editable with layers rather than just a flat JPEG. Now, uh, first things first, I can zoom in with my Command Plus on the keyboard, or you can use a magnifying glass, and I'm going to look at these uh, big spots here. You can see this picture's got tears, everything all over there. It's kind of cropped poorly over here. You can see a little bit of the area from where it was scanned. And what I need to do is uh, first I'm going to use the uh, spot healing brush. And the way this works is you can just go to a spot that's poorly, like these little like liver spots here, and I can just left click on it. You can see it's gone. And it matches everything around it, and literally I can just tap on these spots here, and it, I mean, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Just goes through here and really matches what is around it. That's in a light area. You can go to the dark areas where there's these like, little whiter spots here. Make the brush smaller, click on it. You can see it just does a miraculous job of clearing this stuff up. For a little tear, you can paint over it. it does a pretty good job, okay? Now, for a bigger tear, I'm going to go over this entire tear here. It actually did pretty good. I uh, sort of blurred out part of his hair because I missed a little bit. I'm going to undo that, and I'm going to show you this tool for uh, undo that. Um, having a little more accurate control on that. So if I go to the Healing Brush tool, this is going to work very similar to the Clone Stamp, which we use for our face swap. You hold down Option, you click somewhere. Like uh, I'm going to try to cover this stuff up, so I click in a similar style background. I wouldn't want to target over here and then paint over here. So target that. And then very similar to the clone stamp, you can see that little uh, plus sign comes up. It targets where I'm targeting from. And I can really very accurately touch this whole area up. Okay. So um, the healing brush tool and the spot healing brush tool, these work very similar to each other. Uh, though this one healing brush tool allows you to target, which is always handy. Okay. Um, you can see if we try to use the clone stamp on um, some of these here. Kevin, if you are in the building, you can clone stamp office, some. Please, Kevin, come to the office. <clears throat> nice uh, okay. announcement there. Trying to get Kevin to the office. Uh, so we've got, um, you know, the clone stamp. You can go through and use this, but and sometimes you can have reasonable results. But you start getting some sort of like airbrush-looking effects there. So I'm going to back that up, and uh, I'm going to just continue to use this healing brush tool and the spot healing brush tool. And again, I'm going to target here, paint across, target here, paint across. And I really want you to go through and just get rid of all the tears on this picture. You can see there's a bunch of tears. There's a bunch of these little water spots uh, from damage or whatever. And uh, you can clone stamp. Maybe you can clone stamp over here and then fix it with the brush. Or you could even just crop this whole thing down a little bit more. I don't really mind. Um, now the tricky part is going to be something that happens on an area where it's not a flat, basic area. So here we've got this uh, damage to the eye, okay? And uh, with that, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go in by hand with your regular paintbrush tool right here. Make a very small brush, and you're going to sample areas around it and uh, paint in. So for example, uh, I don't want to go until the grid gets white. Let's go back a little bit. Um, 
here there's like a dark line that uh, outlines his eye. So I'm going to take the same kind of brownish gray here. I'm going to option, click. And when I hold down option, it turns to the sampler from the paintbrush. And you can see where I drag it around, that top half of the ring shows you what it's changing to and what it was. Okay. So I'm going to grab this dark brown over eye kind of part. And I'm doing this with a trackpad, so I might be a little sloppy. You might want to turn your flow down a little bit too, just so this doesn't come out super fast. And then uh, this whole tear right here, I'm going to option click this eyebrow part, start painting it in. Option click this little ridge of the eye here. Option click here. And now if I turn my background copy off and on, you can see, especially if I'm zoomed out, it's getting better. It's definitely getting better. Now, uh, I'm going to option click over here. Paint with my brush. Actually, I'm going to make my brush a little bit larger for this. Option click. Paint. Choose his hair. Option click. Option click. Background. Okay. I just keep sampling. Keep option clicking around. And again, for the real detailed areas, you're going to have to pretty much like draw what you think it should look like. So this does involve a little bit of drawing ability. Do the best that you can. Uh, if you're not really great at drawing, don't worry about it too much. Over here, again, I'm going to take hat, do this sort of underlid of his eye. Try to get in here, make this a little bit bigger. Okay. And I'm doing a kind of a quick and dirty job on this just for the demo. Uh, you could do this, really take your time and use a smaller brush and really try to get in there as best as possible. But right now, you know, we'll just do the best that we can. And if we zoom out, we went from that to that so far. So we got rid of a bunch of those watermarks and really kind of painted in by hand with that brush. So you're going to continue. Go on with this uh, spot healing brush, healing brush, and paint brush for the really detailed areas that uh, need you to actually decide for the computer what's going on there. And then from there, uh, you're going to save a copy of the original image and a copy of the touched up image side by side on your blog or, you know, one on top of the other so I can kind of alternate back and forth and check on them. Okay? Thanks for watching.